Hi guys, Jan here with a new 3D quick tip video. Have you ever had problems with Maya that it turned off, undo or autosave just randomly by accident and you haven't noticed? I had and you probably had. I have a solution or a little help for you how to avoid it. And we will do it by running a script right after the Maya start, which will enable autosave and set a folder and enable undo. And we'll also do a little neat thing, which I really like to do on the start of Maya. Just watch the video and you will see what will be going on. So just to show you, I'll open the preferences, go to file projects. And so you can see that my autosave isn't enabled. And what we want to do is enable autosave, switch it to the named folder and put the folder in here. Sometimes autosave disable itself because it cannot find the folder. It could be because your project is not set up properly or the folder is basically missing. So we will enable the autosave and you can see that my undo is also turned off. So we will turn on the undo. And the last thing we will do is that we will switch the default lumber shader to blin, which is way nicer to model with. So let's close Maya and start little scripts. So let's start with the first script, which will be our startup one. Don't worry, the scripting will be super simple and you can just type in whatever I'm typing in, but I will explain briefly what's going on. Just let me know in the comments if you want a brief explanation how to make a simple scripts in the future videos. So we will start with an import Maya CMDS as CMDS. We are actually writing a Python script, so let me switch it here to Python so we get some pre-highlights. So with this, we are actually importing the Maya command module into Python, so Python understands commands from Maya. And we want to define a function called autosave, or I will call it autosave, doesn't matter how you will call it. And inside of that function, we will start to write the actual enabling command. So it will be cmds as Maya command, and it is called autosave. You can easily find these in Maya documentation, Maya technical documentation. And we need some parameters. The first parameter we want to enable. So it's actually called enable. And it will be true. The other thing is that we want to switch the destination to named folder and the parameter is called destination so it will be destination and then we will put a number of that item in the ui so project was the first the named folder was the second however everything in scripts is numbered from zero so project was zero and name folder is one so let's put one and then we will put the folder itself Let's put the favorite folder in there, user and desktop, because why not? Why not just autosave to desktop, right? And at the end, we will print the message into the script editor saying autosave enabled. So we will be able to just double check if the script was actually executed. Then we want to make a function called undo and it will be similar cmds this is this command is actually called undo info and instead of enable the parameter is state don't ask me why it's maya unpredictable right and we will print undo enabled and the last one I was talking about is defining default shader. Let's call it default shader. I already have that function prepared, so we just copy paste and briefly explain what's going on. We are creating a shading node. The shading node is actually a blind shader and we are saying it's a shader. That basically these commands and examples of these commands, you can find them in the documentation. So just, it's, it, most of this stuff I'm doing is just copy pasting from the documentation. So if you search for a shading node, this will probably almost this, the same thing will be in the help. 
So we are creating blin shader with the name blin gray, and then we are connecting the attribute of blin gray out color to initial shading group surface shader. And force uh, parameter of flag is there because even though if this is already connected, it will reconnect it again, just to be sure. And once again, we are printing the value. Let's save this script and we will save it into this directory because I'm on Mac OS, but on Windows, you will save it here and on Linux, you will save it here, basically into your preferences script folder. And I will call it JJ underscore startup. PY. You can call it however you want because this one is not the script file automatically read by Maya. It's simply because Maya doesn't understand these commands in the beginning when it's starting because these commands are loaded later on. Maya startup script is actually read even before the plugins are loaded. That's why I cannot put the Arnold surface shader here. So we need to create another file, the Maya default setup file, which is read on the startup, which will point to this script. So let's make a new file, save it. And that has to be called user setup.py. And once again, same, saved into the same directory, you can see these popping up over here. So I can actually copy paste stuff I already prepared. This is usually the same for any circumstance. So we are importing the file I created before. You can see this is the same name because without the py. And then we are executing these functions I had in the script. You can see that we have a script name again, dot and the name of the function, autosave, undo, default shader and the parentheses. So it corresponds with this names. So let me save that and we are ready to start Maya. So right now the Maya should enable autosave, set a folder, enable undo and put the default shader in. First of all, let's check the script editor and just scroll in all these commands that were run. And you can see that this is a default shader changed, undo enabled, autosave enabled. We can see those messages. And as I mentioned before, you can see over here, that Arnold will, was actually loaded later on. So let's just double check, go to preferences. We can see the autosave is enabled, pointed to the desktop, undo turned on. And the last one, let's create a sphere. Ta -da! And it's standard of flat, ugly Lambert. We have a beautiful blend with a specular highlight. So that's it guys. Uh, that's actually showing how to run desired script to set up your Maya environment or do whatever you want, whatever you find in a manual, whatever you find on the internet, just run it right when the Maya is starting. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have suggestions for the future videos or you have questions, just comment below and share the videos with your friends and see you next time. Thanks.